Hi everyone. Um, I just want to touch on something that I saw uh, yesterday on YouTube. Uh, someone was reviewing a knife and one of the things they did to test it was to open a tin can. Now I've got a tin can here that's actually, it's not one of the uh, aluminium ones, it's actually proper tin. Now some years ago when I was backpacking um, I was staying in a uh, backpacker's uh, hostel and the can opener was missing and people were having difficulties in opening the tins of food. Um, that's when I pulled out my small tiny pocket knife. At the time I used to carry this. My little Kershaw Coral Creek. Now as you see it's a small knife. The blade is only maybe about two inches and I actually opened dozens of cans of food using just this. I'll show you how to do it. You don't need a big bushcraft knife or a big Rambo knife or anything like that. Um, just a quality made small pocket knife will do it. And I've got a tin of uh, canned tomatoes here so I'll show you how it's done. First thing you need to make sure you have a non-slip surface. You don't want this can slipping anywhere. Now hold it with your hand, bring the blade up and in the, up against the corner here and then a sharp tap on top with your hand and straight in. Now as you move along um, don't do it so that um, don't do it in this direction where the cutting edge is away from the hole and the spine of the blade is towards the hole. You want to do it the other way, like this. So now the cutting edge is facing the hole because that way when it goes down it will complete that cut just in here. If you do it the other way, the blade will still cut down into the steel but you'll have a little bit of a um, little bit of metal here that is uh, between the two holes so you then have to apply more pressure to get that little bit cut so it's easier if you do it the other way now if you need to wriggle the blade do not, do not go sideways, do not go in this direction because you can damage the steel, you can damage the blade. If you have to wriggle it, make it back and forth along the cutting edge. Now uh, just take your time on this, don't rush it. As you see, this little Kershaw Coral Creek does its job very well. Now, here's some other little pocket knives. This is probably the first pocket knife I ever got as a kid. I don't even know who makes it, but it's got the words Anand brand stamped on the blade. Now this is a really old design. It does not have a lock. So if you use something like this, be very careful because it can fold and close on you. But again, same trick. See? No damage to the blade. Small Leatherman. These ones you do apply just a little bit more force because the blade is actually quite thick in comparison to them. So these two are really thin blades, you can see here, thin cuts. This one, short and fat, short and wide open fat cuts. 
This is a Spanish uh, Merlot light. Again, hold the can down like this and hold the blade with your fingers so that way you're actually directing it and just firm but gentle taps on the butt of the pocket knife handle no damage This is my Kershaw Canonian design storm knife. Same thing. That goes in quite well. It's a thin blade near the tip. Now, when we come to the end, leave one section attached. Because of the very sharp edge on this, you want to leave that attached because you want to be able to open it without it flying off because if you were to cut that last bit that lid could be pushed down into the can it could jump up, it could cut the inside of your hand, you just don't know so there you go how to open a tin can with just a small pocket knife